everybody, this is your daily tower reading for Wednesday the 6th of June. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Game of Thrones tower for today's reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of and what energy you'll be working with. So we have the Two of Cups, the Hermit, and the King of Coins. That's really a nice combination. The Two of Cups is a hand fasting ceremony. It's a wedding. It's uh, two people coming together and connecting and being in love and making a commitment to each other to be faithful and to love each other until the end of their days. So the Two of Cups is really a nice indicator that on this day, there is going to be, as it has been now for a couple of weeks really, that love is in the air, the potential for love is in the air and also you're very in tune with the element of water because this is cups. Water is about spirituality, your intuition, connecting with a higher power or the higher realms and it's also about nurturing and taking care of other people being self-sacrificing and it gives you a gift to be creative and that applies to lots of different formats so whether you're a writer or an artist or um, a jewelry designer uh, fashion designer those things are all ruled by water so there's a coming together of ideas so if you design a dress today or if you have to design a dress sometime this week, I would suggest that you design the dress today because the Two of Cups is that loving, positive energy. And Two is a relationship, but it's also a cooperation. The two cooperate with each other to make things work. So by taking on a task like designing a dress, for instance, will really, really be supported here on Wednesday because you are in touch with your feelings, you're in touch with the higher realms. So you're drawing on all your resources and your imagination is a fire with all the potential and all the possibilities that are floating around your head and it's exciting. So really, if you're a creative type, a writer or anything like that, if you're an intuitive as well or someone who's a healer, someone who's a nurturer, a mother, a father, these are all, this is all a really good sign that you're going to thrive in all of these areas today. Then we have the Hermit. The Hermit is about shining the light of truth on the self. You can see his face really reflected in that light. And we don't all do that very often. In the 12-step uh, recovery programs, there's a step four where you have to make a list of your fears and you have to make a list of people you've harmed and um, things that you're, I can't remember, the people you resent. And you have to do a really um, detailed inventory of the things that are kind of bothering you and that are keeping you isolated and shut away from the world. And we don't like to do that. No one likes to take a look, a deep, dark look at what's really going on because all of us in some shape or form have something that's, that's dark inside of us. We all have that. Remember, planet of duality, light and dark. Light casts shadows. So when you have light, when you have humility and love and passion, then you can have the dark side as well. Then you can have jealousy and being controlling and things. But by looking at those things, and rather than trying to brush them, brush them under the carpet and pretending, oh yeah, I'm a wonderful person, I have, I'm perfect, I have no flaws whatsoever, it is much more powerful to really have a really earnest, honest look at yourself and to say, okay, there are certain things about myself that I don't particularly like, that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. It means that I'm a mixed bag and there's fun and variety. But I'm going to look 
to the future and those things that I don't like about myself, I'm going to try and work on reducing those things. And if you suffer with pride or if you have envy as a character trait that comes up a lot or if you um, use a, a low self-esteem or this tactic of being subservient as a way of getting what you want, a, a type of manipulation in a way. So any of those behaviors, we may not be very proud of those, but some of us, all of us have some of those negative behaviors. So what the cards are saying is first that there's a great emotional connection to all of the creative things I've mentioned, but there's an emotional connection to yourself. And that allows you to take a really, or to doesn't even have to be a list that you're writing down or you have to verbalize it, make it all very complicated and, and express yourself. It's literally just looking at yourself and seeing the whole thing. Because there's so much water there, you take the lantern, you shine it and you see yourself as you may have never seen yourself before. And because you see yourself, it gives you a much greater security and stability in life and it gives you an amazing sense of self. You own yourself then. An unexamined life is not worth living. I can't remember who that's by, but that's a quote. And also, if you run a business, you have to do a stock take every once in a while, right? And you have to do an inventory. And you have to make sure that you're stocking items which are selling in your shop, in your supermarket. Uh, so every week or every two weeks, you're going to look at the sales results. You're going to look at what's been selling, what is totally has just gone to waste. And for the last three weeks, you've had to throw that product out. You're going to start to refine the business and to make sure you carry more of the stock that's popular and you get rid of the stock that no one buys and that's an expense and a loss to you. And because you have that knowledge and that understanding, you sh shone that light onto the business, you can sit back comfortably and say, I am now making more money with this business because I looked at it and I took an inventory and that's what's going on right now and that's what we're selling. So I'm comfortable financially, I'm comfortable in my own life because I'm aware, I'm informed and I always, I've got my finger on the pulse of what's going on. And that's the same thing with us as people. We have to do a personal stock take. You're not the same. Fundamentally and spiritually, you are the same as you were at five. And you're the same person now at 20 and at 40 and at 60 and at 80. You're always the same person. But there are certain stages of our life where on a human level, on an emotional level, on a circumstantial level, we experience different circumstances in our life. Sometimes we're in poverty. Sometimes uh, money is coming in. Sometimes we're in love. Sometimes we're alone. Sometimes we're healthy. Sometimes we're sick. Look at where you're at right now and what's been happening. Have you been in hospital for six years for anorexia? And have you now come out of the hospital? And do you have to realize that you have absolutely no social skills because you've had no contact with anyone except nurses for the last six years? So you have to recognize that you have no social skills. Do the inventory, the stock take of yourself, and then you can do something about it. Then you can um, ask a, a parent or a relative or a friend or a, a sister or brother to say, listen, you know, I, I really need some help in terms of how to behave as, as someone my age. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Asking for help isn't that easy, but you'll be surprised. It's like a magic word, help, help me. If people hear, help me, please, I don't know what to do. It sends loads of people into action and people will be willing to help. So by doing this personal stock take and the two of cups warms it up for you a little bit because some of these dark things aren't that pleasant to look at. Some people are so afraid to look at these things that they drink and that they smoke and that they uh, uh, anesthetize themselves so they don't have to look. But the watery, lovey, kind of nice energy softens the blow a little bit and you can look at yourself. And because of that, you can rest assured, you can sit back, you can be um, at peace within yourself and be content because you know who you are, you know what your skills are, 
you know what's going on with your health, you know personality wise what really draws people to you and what tends to end your friendships. You understand that um, you have met your maximum potential or you may realize that you have more potential in another area and that you're not using your talents at all. It may be that you discover you have um, a whole different country in mind when it comes to living elsewhere. And that by looking at the self, you realize you've been dissatisfied with your current situation for a long while and you want to move, you want to go elsewhere. Coins, rules, anything to do with the physical world and anything to do with um, moving, bodies, houses, living situations. Now also because of the uh, watery elements and the um, hermit looking within, you also have a great sense of imagination today. Water rules the spiritual and realms of the imagination and realms of fantasy. Plus, the hermit is kind of like Neptune in astrology, I would say. A lot of people will immediately disagree with that. But the hermit is about looking within and really looking, you know, um, being honest about your feelings and who you are. And Neptune is the water planet of intuition. And that's what I think Neptune gives us. So Neptune and water is all about fantasy and imagination and, and being creative. And then the king of coins allows you to take all of that energy, the, the creativity, the spiritual insights and to put them into some sort of tangible format. So if you're again, a writer or someone who's a creative person, take what it is you're getting from the universe today and put it in some tangible format. It'll really be something excellent because it's the king of coins, not the page of coins or the knight of coins who's just managing. You have the skills and now the imagination and the content comes in, the two come together, and off you go. Perfect recipe to get something creative done and to express yourself. Two, the hermit is nine, so that's 11, and one is 12. One and two is three. Three is about new beginnings, and it's about communication, and it's about ideas. So start something new here today in terms of what you're creating and you'll end up with a tangible physical product that you can either read or listen to or look at or whatever it may be. So I hope you have a great day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading and like I combined the numbers and the tarot in this reading. I combine all three in my personal reading. So the astrology, the tarot and the numerology. The astrology chart in particular gives me a great, really in-depth insight into who you are. So where you've been in past lifetimes, what your life mission is this time around. So what your life purpose is, what your talents are when it comes to work. Also what's destined for you in love and in finances and in terms of moving. And if you have any questions, I can answer those as well. So if you are interested in any of that, then please do get in touch for a personal reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.